to my channel how are you guys doing i miss you guys on sunday oh some of you sent me dms those that have my number called me some people sent me a message on whatsapp saying yo what's up we didn't see your video what's happened and i'm like Mom, you know i'm gonna put a video up today <laughs> i'm so sorry i couldn't put up any video on sunday but at least i sang i sang for her the moment <laughs> mothers uh, by the way that song is specially dedicated to all our mothers the intending mothers the aspiring mothers the mommies to be mothers hearts any <laughs> for all the women on my channel so thank you for checking up on me thank you so much i do appreciate you how did you enjoy your mother's day so i wanted to see my mom on mother's day but some things came up and i couldn't so i went to see her a day after first of all i put a call through to my mother on mother's day and i called her i was like hello mommy because i called my mother mommy come and below what you call your mom i know so we go mom 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 but my mother is mommy he's serious your body <laughs> i've said it before to somebody if you see me demonstrate any yoruba traits it's all thanks to my mother <laughs> that's the child of my mother <laughs> anyway so i called her and i was like hello mommy happy mother's day she was like change mother's day and she was like it's today it's today mother's day I'm like, yeah it's mother's day so, ah, <laughs> that's like thank you <laughs> so you know i just talked and then she prayed for me in all those your Obama mother's prayer, you do this, you do that. Anyway, so I decided to pay a visit so that you know we can chat and have like just be together. <laughs> when I go to my mom's place, <laughs> my mom showed me one of my letters. I wrote it to her on Mother's Day many years ago. Although she said it's 2018, 2014, but I don't think it's 2014. I think I think it was when I was in secondary school. I wrote her the letter because <laughs> it can't be 2014. <laughs> my mom this letter since i was in secondary school i guess and she still has the letter i didn't date it uh, that's very unlike me because these days i date my letters uh but it was a mother's day yeah so i put up that um, that video rather on insta story and then i asked the question <laughs> And then some of you said, oh, I think you should read the letter, letter rather to us on YouTube. I was like, okay, let me just share all my secrets with you people. <laughs> so I'm going to um, be reading the letter. Honestly, I've not read the letter from start to finish. So I, I'm even wondering, I, if I read anything in this letter that I feel like it's not supposed to be for public ears. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I might edit it. I might try. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'll do, Sha, but let me just read the letter already. <laughs> fingers crossed okay. anyway let me read the letter i begged her to give me this letter by the way i wanted to film this video with my mom but my mom does not like camera she said me i see a that's like let me translate it the typical way it's like it's not me and you so i just okay give me the letter you give me the letter at least <laughs> i can read it and she said i have to give it back and i said yes so see my mom keeps this letter in a bag guys so i was like oh this is what i wrote in the letter i said mommy happy mother's day why did i even say mommy when i call her mommy mommy happy mother's day because i'm writing english oh I read the letter already okay mommy happy mother's day i love you so much and i pray and know that you will live to see many more to come i want to thank you for i want to thank you very much for giving birth to me for carrying me for nine months for not aborting me for taking care of me thank you for breastfeeding me for bathing me for carrying me for watching me patiently to crawl to see to walk oh hey, i'm such a sweet girl oh to to walk to what is this to i don't know what i wrote here because it's already like fading to i don't know what that is for everything i'm for everything i'm saying thank you thank you for feeding me when i was hungry for carrying me when i was sick for beating me for advising me hey i'm not sure maybe i'm very thankful for that bit you know i just wrote it there baby because <laughs> i won't beat hell out of me <laughs> ah, 
do, 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 do. I'm that child, eh? I'll go to school with rice and I'll come back with beans in my cola. I I used to bake for food. I don't know how my mom hates that thing so much. So she's always beating me. I would like collect food from I don't know, I wasn't wise. Anyway, I was a child. So I don't know because I could have just used my spoon to eat with them instead of telling them to put it in my cooler. So when I put it in my cooler and I get to <laughs> My mom obviously is the one that washed the plate and everything, so she sees it and she's like, I gave you rice, how come there's beans in your cooler? <laughs> ah, my mom really beats you, but she has to thank Kaisha. Wait, where was I? Okay, 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 okay. Thank you for feeding me, thank you for beating me, okay. Thank you for, for your advice, for everything, mommy, I'm saying thank you. You are the reason why I am alive. The reason why I am here on earth today. Thank you, mommy. Oh, I am. I am sorry for the all the pain I have caused you in the past, for the disappointment, for disgrace. Did I disgrace my mom? <laughs> I don't remember. For the disgrace, for shame. I for the shame for for shame I have caused you. I don't know. Okay, that's what I wrote, Sha. Okay, yeah, I remember. I think this was when this was after <laughs> this was after I, I talked to my mom about losing my virginity. So she was very disappointed, you know, everything that happened. So I felt so bad. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, that means yeah, this was after secondary school. That's true. This was after this was the she she was, she's correct then because she said this letter was written in twenty words. I don't remember. Because this whole thing happened, losing my virginity happened after secondary school. So yeah. Anyway, um, what am I writing here? Um, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry for not listening to you when you advised me. I'm sorry for lying to you. Oh, I'm sorry for stealing from you all the meat, <laughs> all the meat and money. In bracket, this was the most hilarious one for me. In bracket, I wrote 15 naira to 10 to 100 naira. <laughs> How do you know if he stole from your mother? Well, no. Okay, I wrote stole, but I mean it's take. So I take my mom's 15 naira, 100 naira, all this small, small money, like change. You know, so that instead of me to walk to school, because I used to walk to school growing up, to secondary school. By the way, I attended Basra for Millennium Senior Secondary School. So yeah, shout out to well shout out to what i don't know if anybody from my school might be watching this video so my mom you know sometimes she gives me 15 naira to school and i i just i have to walk to school and walk back so <laughs> on days where i don't want to walk and walk back i want somebody to lap me like in a bus so you have to if you are going to laugh i don't know if you ever did that thing shabu i did so if you are going to laugh with somebody you guys are going to split the money like half half so i think then from my place to grammar school that time was like 50 naira so if you you the person that is laughing you will pay 25 naira and then you pay 25 naira and the same thing back home so sometimes i still like a 50 naira sometimes when i still hundred naira it's because i also have more things to buy <laughs> anyway let me just continue um where was i yeah okay i'm sorry for the times that I made you cry in the past. Please forgive me, mommy. I'm very grateful to God. I have a mother like you. A prayerful, God-fearing mother who will not let her children go astray. Oh, a mother who cares. Who, who what is this? Okay, who will not let a day go without oh these things are fading already without what is this without thinking of our children a mother who can go extra mile to make us great a mother who can go hungry for us to eat ah guys my mom went hungry for us to eat i promise you ah no 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 my mom went hungry let me tell you guys something about my mom she prays in the middle of the night she told me she you know just check it she's praying for you she will touch your head sometimes sometimes she will anoint your head in your sleep sometimes she will wake you up to pray with her other times she will just declare fast you know you don't see anybody to fast my mom can fast gosh 
so there was one time when my, ma my mom had a fibroid surgery and after the surgery some weeks after she started fasting she said she wants to fast to tell god that god has helped her over i'm like don't fast like the doctor said don't fast don't fast for now my mom can fast i think she's addicted to fasting <laughs> i don't know but i mean i'm thankful that my mom is a prayer mother because her prayer has brought me this far so yeah so i'm thankful for her but she taught me how to pray uh, my mom is in the whole ski she can she can fire anything <laughs> anything uh, yeah yeah oh my mom really tried she's still trying anyway oh no this is just bringing back bringing back memories ah i'm not going to cry <laughs> yeah let me just continue um i said yeah, a mother who can go naked for us to wear clothes, who will not sleep when we are sick, who will not stop fasting and praying when we need one. A mother who has gone through a lot because of us, who... Ah, what is this, Daston? Okay, who trained us and to make sure we are... Ah, well, okay, I don't know. Okay, okay. I think I can read this now. Um, I promise not to hurt you again. I promise not to disappoint you, not to bring shame and disgrace to you. I promise to study and work hard to be the best I can ever be, to make you proud. I promise to become great in life so you will have a better life. I mean, the best life to live. I promise to follow the right to follow the right the right path i promise to be i promise to be oh gosh i'm sorry this thing it's been a long time so like some words are like they are not very clear anymore Okay, let me just read to the part where I can see. I promise never to forget you. I promise to make you happy. I promise to be there for you. I promise to take care of you the best way I can when the money comes. I promise. This one, I wrote it in capital letter, like. See, like capital letters. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I promise. I promise you today that mommy you will not suffer. Oh. The weeping may last for the night, but I assure you through Christ and his promises that joy will come in the morning. Oh no, I don't want to cry. Oh. Oh. I want you to know that you are a very beautiful mother endowed with natural beauty and the words the words of God oh I want you to know that I'm proud of you anywhere any day anytime I want you to know that you are the best cook in the world nobody can nobody can Oh, what did I write here? This part is faint. I can't see it. Nobody can. Nobody can ever talk bad of the food you prepared. Never. Uh, and finally, I love you so much, mommy, with all my heart. So I wrote this in capital letters too. I love you so much, mommy, with all my heart. I can. I think this is do. I can do anything for you and you are the best mom in the world. Oh, and then I drew hearts. See, I said, I love you. Oh, <laughs> ah, thank God for our mothers. Thank God. I think I make my mom proud now. Uh, this is not the best yet. I, I believe that um, a lot of good things are still to come. My mom really, 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 really uh, struggled and, you know, suffered and a lot of things, you know, I'm trying to hold my tears. I don't want to cry. 
yeah my mom she deserves all the joy and happiness in the world so yeah so uh it's good to read this letter again the the, the thought that comes to mind right now is the time when i remember one day when my mother and i we 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 the, if you read my book Rebirth, you have an idea what I'm saying. What I'm saying. So we usually throw debt in the rain, and I know it's a bad thing, but we didn't have money to pay for llama bills. So one very early in the morning, I remember we, we used to go to put the debts on the road. So we almost got caught. And I remember like my mom was telling me to run up, run up. run home like i should run home so that if i told they are going we are going to get caught that they will just take only her i wasn't going to leave my mom thankfully we begged them and then they said we should um, take it back to the house so we took it back to the house so times when we have money we, we pay the normal bill and we trash the debt times when we don't have money we just put the debt by the road or when it rains we trash it in the rain it's it's not a good thing now i know better like it's not a good thing but people really suffer and people struggle and people go through stuff they don't even have you know food to eat how much more using the need to they have to pay for lama bills you know what i mean so i don't want to cry yeah so it's a bad thing yeah it's a bad thing i know it's a bad thing I don't want to go into any more details because yeah if you read my book you have a better understanding of what i'm what i'm saying so i just have so many memories of me you know and my mom where we go through so many stuff my mom and i have been through so much and i'm thankful for where we are at the moment and i'm thankful for where we're going and I, i'm thankful for my mother so i just want to say a big shout out to every mother out there you know laboring over their children praying struggling taking all the nonsense all the craps just you know working for people and they're insulting you and doing all sorts just to make sure that you have enough money to put food on on on, on the table you know for all the single mothers who raise their children alone without a father i pray that god is going to keep giving you guys support like strength and everything that you need I pray that um, I just pray for every mother really struggling. I pray that God will strengthen you and those who don't have mothers. Because I, when I put up the post on Sunday, I read some comments of some people saying they've lost their mom. I really pray that God is going to comfort you in every way. I didn't mean to cry. I don't like crying because I don't want people to feel bad or sad. Or I always just like to make people happy. You know, so I'm sorry. Yeah. So I just pray for everybody. You know, God bless everybody. God is our strength. God is our support. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. I think I should just end now. Else, I may just continue to cry. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you would like to be a part of this family of love. Uh, that sounds like church. Yeah. I'm such a church girl. Okay, guys. Ah, thank you. I'll see you in my next video. Have an amazing week. Love you guys.